Standing by for this morning's launch of the Space Shuttle Endeavour, expected in just minutes. And the weather apparently is cooperating. We were just hearing from Steve Koch a minute ago, and apparently the systems remain on go. Let's check in with Tony Clark. Right now, it is just a minute and 15 seconds away from the launch of the shuttle Endeavour. In fact, let's look at a live shot right now of the shuttle. There are the three main engines of the shuttle Endeavour. The clouds that you see around the uh, shuttle were a source of some concern this morning, but uh, the things that caused problems yesterday ended up not being a problem today. There was a problem about a minute or two ago, an intruder aircraft into the area, but that uh, aircraft moved out of the area, and uh, so that is not a problem. Problem. There are six crew members on board. They are all set for this expected eight-day mission. It's a mission to retrieve a European satellite and also includes a uh, spacewalk. Counting down to the last 30 seconds. In fact, let's listen in. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Endeavour's four onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20. 15, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on the first Space Ab mission and the retrieval of the Eureka spacecraft. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour is rolling on to the proper heading. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Maneuvers complete, placing Endeavour and crew on a due east course. Three good engines. Throttle settings at 100%. Main engines are throttling back now, helping to ease loads on the vehicle as it powers through the dense lower altitudes and continues to accelerate rapidly. Engine throttles are now at 72%. is already traveling over 1,000 miles per hour. And all three main engines are throttling back up. Endeavor, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. All engines are now running at full throttle and all systems performing well. Altitude 57,000 feet, downrange 7 nautical miles. Over the next 60 seconds, as Endeavour continues to climb at a relatively steep angle, the vehicle's rate of speed will virtually triple. The solid rocket boosters, each providing up to 3.3 million pounds of thrust, will burn out and separate at 2 minutes 4 seconds. Time now, 1 minute 45 seconds. SRB chamber pressure is beginning to diminish at this point. And we have a clean separation. Endeavour is now flying free of the solids under the power of its own main engines. Second stage guidance is now controlling the vehicle. Altitude 173,000 feet, downrange distance 38 nautical miles. Endeavour is now traveling over 2,800 miles per hour. Endeavour, performance nominal. Roger, performance nominal. Endeavour, two-engine Ben Gurrier. Two-engine Ben Gurrier. Early performance of the main engines and boosters was good. Endeavour can now cross the Atlantic Ocean with only two engines should one fail. Altitude 222,000 feet, downrange distance 57 nautical miles. Endeavour's now traveling over 3,200 miles per hour. The vehicle continues to accelerate very rapidly at this point, shedding weight as propellant burns off. The orbiter's trajectory is also beginning to level out a bit here as Endeavour and crew head out over the Atlantic Ocean. Downrange distance now 75 nautical miles. Time, 3 minutes, 25 seconds. All systems are performing well. Altitude now 275,000 feet. Downrange, 90 miles.
Endeavour will spend the next uh, four days catching up with a European retrievable carrier known as Eureka. That's the satellite that it will capture on Thursday, some 296 miles above Earth, put it in the shuttle's payload bay for a return trip to Earth. This was a beautiful launch this morning, just about 23, 24 seconds behind schedule because of an intruder aircraft. Let's take a look one more time at this morning's launch. We have a go for main engine start. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Endeavour on the first space lab mission and the retrieval of the Eureka spacecraft. Houston is now controlling. Endeavour is rolling on to the proper heading. Roger, roll, Endeavour. Roll maneuvers complete, placing Endeavour and crew on a due east course. Three good engines. Throttle settings at 100%. Main engines are throttling back now, helping to ease loads on the vehicle as it powers through the dense lower altitudes and continues to accelerate rapidly. Engine throttles are now at 72%. Endeavour is already traveling over 1,000 miles per hour. And all three main engines are throttling back up. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. All engines are now running at full throttle and all systems performing well. Altitude 57,000 feet, downrange 7 nautical miles. Over the next 60 seconds, as Endeavour continues to climb at a relatively steep angle, the vehicle's rate of speed will virtually triple. The solid rocket boosters, each providing up to 3.3 million pounds of thrust, will burn out and separate at 2 minutes 4 seconds. Time now, 1 minute 45 seconds. SRB chamber pressure is beginning to diminish at this point. And we have a clean separation. Endeavour is now flying free of the solids under the power of its own main engines. Second stage guidance is now controlling the vehicle. Altitude 173,000 feet. Downrange of distance. This is planned as an eight-day mission. Highlights include the capturing of the satellite on Thursday and a four-hour spacewalk on Friday. And, of course, CNN will bring you coverage throughout the shuttle Endeavour's mission. I'm Tony Clark at CNN Center.